Ties Blair. Thank you, Amelia. I-70 westbound shut down in two areas overnight after two different crashes. One deadly, the other involved a St. Louis City police unit. The Power of Two's Chris Rinye is live in North City right now with what we're learning so far. Chris? Good morning, Tiger. Morning to both of you. We are just off I-70 in Salisbury here in North St. Louis. This is where the second crash happened involving that St. Louis City police unit. This scene cleared a little earlier, but for a time overnight, 70 westbound here was completely shut down while police investigated that incident. We can show you some video from overnight here. The situation in this area unfolding about 345 this morning. Authorities telling me a St. Louis City officer was driving a marked unit on 70 westbound when that unit was somehow rear-ended by another driver. The impact causing the officer to lose control and hit the concrete center median. We're told the officer was transported to the hospital with minor injuries. At this point, police tell us they have no information on the other driver who hit the officer's unit. So still some questions to be answered in this case. Several hours earlier, there was another crash on 70 westbound, about six miles west from where this officer-involved wreck happened. That earlier crash left one person dead and another person injured. It involved two vehicles and happened on 70 West near Jennings Station Road in North County. 70 West in that area was closed down for hours while the Missouri Highway Patrol investigated that crash. Traffic on 70 Westbound was diverted to Jennings Station Road as that investigation took place. At this point, the Highway Patrol is still looking into what exactly caused that crash. We saw the two vehicles from the crash as they were being loaded onto wreckers. Both of those vehicles appeared to have pretty significant damage. For now, live in North City, I'm Chris Fernier.